Hello everyone. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, my name is Jonas Radu and I am co-founder and technical partnership manager at uh, Roncast. And uh, today's session, uh, the main topic we will address will be security and uh, vulnerabilities. Um, as you already know, uh, security and vulnerabilities are some of the hottest topics in all industries, regardless of their profile. Um, the failure to protect uh, the infrastructure against uh, such uh, breaches in most cases is leading to financial impact uh, and um, or uh, tarnished reputation. Uh, so during the next half an hour approximate, uh, we'll go together through one of the Roncast Analyzer features and this is uh, security compliance. Um, we'll see how different uh, security compliances uh, such uh, PCIe, uh, DSS, uh, CIS, NIST and many others are uh, implemented as and uh, as well we'll see how Runcast Analyzer will report them and more than this even uh, can help you to fix many of them. Uh, we'll take a look also on the custom profiles, how they can be created and their use case. Um, if you have uh, different questions during the presentation, please uh, write them down in the chat. And uh, if the time will allow us, uh, we'll read uh, them in the end. Uh, if we'll be short on time, no worries, uh, these questions um, are stored. So we'll get back to you with uh, our answers via email. So let's jump uh, to the demo environment uh, to see all of this uh, in action. So, once we log into Runcast Analyzer interface, uh, we'll be greeted uh, by the main dashboard, which uh, provides an overview of the health of the systems added uh, to Runcast Analyzer. And um, <clears throat> main dashboard. And uh, here we can uh, uh, see, for example, um, an overview of the health of the systems added uh, to Analyzer. Um, the identified issues are presented uh, with the help of the widget and are grouped according to their severity or uh, origins. Um, for now, we'll skip um, all the other sections like inventory view, uh, configuration, knowledge base discovered, uh, best practices and so on, and we'll focus just on uh, uh, the vulnerabilities and the security part. So, for example, uh, under the vulnerabilities, we'll find a list of uh, all the CVEs implemented in the uh, room customizer, which might affect uh, different products uh, such as uh, vSphere, uh, vCloud Director, NSXT, Horizon, or Kubernetes. Um, if the analyzer system is impacted, uh, the result the column will provide the status, so we'll see uh, the status failed. Um, on the other side, if uh, the vulnerabilities are not affecting uh, your uh, environment, then the status pass will be shown. Expanding any of these uh, vulnerabilities, uh, we'll see um, the details of this vulnerability together with a link uh, to um, the, uh, with a link uh, to the official documentation. Um, under the findings tab, uh, we'll see exactly what are the objects affected, uh, the finding description, and also the finding value. Uh, important are these two buttons, which can be found under each one of the rules. Uh, about the copy to custom profile, we'll discuss a bit later. But uh, let's say for any reason, if any of these rules uh, are not applicable uh, for your environment, uh, you may select to ignore it. So once you ignore and press the ignore button, you'll create a filter. And uh, in this moment, um, based on the selected objects from your inventory, on the next scan, Runcast Analyzer will not um, check these objects against this specific uh, rule you selected. Um, OK, so uh, let's jump to the security compliance. Uh, to see uh, multiple uh, security profiles which are uh, currently implemented in uh, Runcast Analyzer. And uh, for this presentation, we'll take as example the CIS. Uh, 
And on top of the screen, we may select exactly which is the uh, benchmark uh, we are interested uh, in. Uh, below, there are different uh, filters, so we can go, uh, for example, based on the layer, recommendation section, level, results, and uh, then, again, as we are already used from the vulnerabilities, once we expand one of the failed rules, we'll have the details, the findings tab, and here we'll find the objects affected. Um, we are seeing that the room customizer, it's not uh, just able to identify the misconfigurations across um, our environment, but it also uh, is able to help with the remediation of uh, certain rules, uh, which are typed uh, by this uh, symbol. So, for example, uh, once we are expanding this role, uh, beside the, those two buttons, ignore and copy to custom profile, we'll find remediation. So, once we select it, we'll be able to generate a remediation script uh, to address this issue. So we already see all the objects which are affected by this rule. Uh, we can select one or many of them. And then under the summary, we'll see exactly what actions will be done for each one of the objects. Uh, on the first step, we'll uh, generate the script. And this script can be a uh, Power CLI script or Ansible script. And then uh, either we can copy to clipboard and uh, create our own uh, file, or we can directly uh, download the script and run it. Um, uh, this, uh, I'll not go very deep uh, presenting the remediation, uh, because later on uh, during um, uh, this uh, event, my colleagues uh, will have a dedicated session for remediation. So I encourage you to attend their session and uh, of course, um, if you uh, can. Um, another uh, status um, available under the security profiles beside uh, the failed rules and the past rule will be manual. And uh, expanding one of these rules, we'll see that uh, under the findings, so there is the automatic check but the uh, room cast uh, analyzer um, cannot uh, pass this rule because uh, additional input is required for the user. So once the user will confirm uh, the manual uh, question, which will be on top of each one of these manual checks, uh, room cast analyzer will be able uh, to pass the rule. Um, the other security standards uh, are implemented in the same format. Uh, let's take uh, an example, uh, PCI DSS. Again, we have all the rules uh, which are implemented and expanding each one of the rules, we'll find again the details related to the rules and the findings. In this profile, we'll have uh, specific features implemented, and this is uh, the customization of the rule. So for example, once we uh, select the filter for the rules which can be customized, uh, we'll be able to adjust the value uh, which room customizer is uh, checking for. Uh, let's take an example, this rule. So we can see that in the findings, we are discovering specific objects with specific values, but under the customize, we are able to change this value. For example, our environment um, is configured to have a different timeout value, uh, not the one which Runcast is searching by default. So we don't want to fail the rule, but we want to check against that value. So we can add the custom value. We are selecting part of the environment, a cluster, a data center, or the entire center. We are saving it, but not before entering the value uh, which are, we are interested in. Uh, on the next scan, the room customizer uh, will check specifically for the um, object we selected if uh, it is implemented with the value which user uh, selected. Okay, um, everything from here uh, can be exported. So on the top uh, right, there is an ex export button. So this data can be exported uh, either in a CSV, PDF format or in Excel. Um, beside the security standards uh, listed here, uh, many others uh, are in the pipeline for implementation. 
Um, but uh, it might be the case when any of these profiles are not uh, applicable uh, based on the organization type. Uh, and uh, but you still want to check your environment against uh, some of the rules, um, which also may be or not from a single profile. So in this case, uh, you might consider to use the custom profiles. So before uh, starting the custom profiles, uh, you'll go to profiles management and just create a new profile. Uh, select a name for this profile and a code here. Once you create the profile, you can navigate the definition database, which contains all the rules inserted to uh, Runcast Analyzer. And then uh, you can select which one of these rules you want to be part of your custom profile. So once you expand the rule, you have the button custom profile, you'll copy the issue to your profile you just created. More than this, you can change the severity and also adjust the title, then copy the issue. Um, I want to mention that doing so, um, it will not change uh, the original rule which is inside the wrong customizer. So this will just be a copy um, added to your profile. Also, another way to do it is to go already to the specific uh, um, vulnerabilities, uh, security compliance, even best practices and knowledge-based article. And as we already saw, under each one of the rules, if we expand them, the dedicated button to copy to custom profile is present. So again, all the fields are here. So next time when you scan your environment, uh, if you don't want to go to these predefined uh, profiles, you can go under security uh, under the custom profiles and select your own profile. So in that moment, you will focus just on the rules which are more important for you. Um, let's go to another um, important aspect of forum customizer, especially in the moment when uh, an audit might be in place. So for example, if we are going to all issues view, we'll be able to see all the rules which are discovered um, by Runcast Analyzer. So in this moment, if we are focusing just on the security, we can select the profile, for example, CIS, and then we'll have a history of all the scans performed by Runcast Analyzer in your environment. Uh, from the time frame, we can, uh, as we see now, it's just uh, the last week, but we can go back in time and uh, select a bigger time frame, and uh, then we'll be able to see all the scans. Uh, each one of these dots are representing a point in time when uh, analyzers scan your environment. So, for example, we can see that uh, we are uh, not very compliant in this uh, demo environment, but uh, still in a specific date in this moment, uh, there are more issues than uh, previous. So once we uh, select this point in time, we can see the results uh, below. But more than this, we can compare with uh, the previous results to understand uh, what new issue um, were uh, bringing this uh, number to raise. So for example, we can see that there uh, are 105 more issues uh, which um, Aerocast Analyzer identified. So more than this, we can see the ones which are resolved, but also the one which are just partially resolved. Um, selecting any of these new issues, we can see exactly uh, which is the account and what is the object uh, which uh, is affected by this uh, specific issue. So more than this, we can navigate through next and previous, and all the time we'll be able to see um, what new rules, maybe we added um, a new environment, or maybe something um, got misconfigured and the room customizer can discover more and more issue in your environment. So from audit perspective, if you want to have like a full, a full visibility of all the scans during um, maybe a higher period of time, maybe for six months or maybe for one year, uh, it will be very beneficial to uh, use uh, this uh, functionality. Um, okay, uh, let's uh, check if there are any questions, not yet. Okay, in this uh, moment, let's uh, go back to the security compliance. 
and uh, speak about the different uh, security profiles. For example, um, by default, um, once you deploy the own customizer, uh, just uh, VMware guidelines are um, available. Uh, in order to see any of the other security profiles, uh, you need to navigate uh, to the settings and uh, under the knowledge profiles, you'll be able to uh, select the specific uh, security profile uh, you are interested in. So either you'll select, for example, um, if depending on your um, organization profile. So you may select uh, HIPAA or PCI DSS or NIST and so on. So as I mentioned before, uh, these vulnerabilities for security compliances are providing a status of the rules once the non-customizer is checking the environment. But of course, uh, if you apply the resolution, uh, which is available under the details, the findings during the next scan will not be um, discovered anymore. So all of these rules in the end will reach to the uh, status of pass. And this is uh, the target status. Okay, um, coming back to uh, CIS and expanding uh, each uh, any of the rules, um, we are seeing uh, the description. Yeah, so this description uh, is taken from the original documentation and that the same for any of the roles, each one of uh, the description uh, is taken from official uh, um, documentation. Um, I can present you, um, for example, uh, the best uh, practices. So again, uh, Room Customizer is uh, checking uh, different uh, uh, platforms and the different system against uh, the best practices. Uh, once we open them, we can uh, focus uh, based on, uh, let's say, their uh, severity or to uh, what layers they're applying. Also, the affecting, if they're affecting the availability, the manageability, or maybe any of these, and together all the products uh, which are um, currently implemented in the uh, Runcast Analyzer. Um, again, uh, the full list of the best practices is available together with the result if the best practices is uh, failing or the best practice is passed. Uh, in case of the failing, uh, during the expansion of the rule, we'll be able to see the findings and uh, the affected object. Again, once we configure them properly, and the next scan, uh, room customizer will not uh, will pass this rule because everything is uh, uh, set properly and uh, uh, everything is configured as it should be. Okay, if uh, there are no um, additional questions related to this uh, uh, session, uh, thank you all for joining it and. Um, I wish you a great uh, day ahead. Uh, goodbye.